Good afternoon, this is Jeff again, over here at 920 Southwest uh, Sheltenham Street. Back out here with my camera now with the locatability. So I just advanced out here, I didn't zero my foot counter out. <clears throat> I just pushed out here to start locating. Anyway, this is almost, that spot there is basically straight away, straight out the back from the uh, rear entrance, or the entrance into the crawl space basement area down here. The line obviously zigs and zags a little bit before getting there, but that's where it's located. You'll see my pink paint on the ground there. And unfortunately, it's at a, it's at a, a fair depth there. You're about 5 foot 8 inches deep. So what I was trying to do here, and I'll show this with the camera here in a, in a second. I just, I, part of it's a time constraint. <clears throat> The other, I just don't, I don't have the tools here with me today to do it, but you've got a second clean out down here in the basement. This, I'll, in fact, I'll, I'll start talking about this here in a minute. I'm going to go do a locate. It'll be easier to show what I'm talking about here in a second when I pull the camera out. All right, so this spot here is located right out back where the transition is. I just put a, a pink T marking down. I pushed all the way into the concrete there just to get a, a good locate. So right there, you're only about two foot deep drops off to about five foot eight inches deep by the time we hit that separated pipe joint. <clears throat> so, and I apologize for my hoarse voice here today. Hopefully you can understand me. Cast iron pipe here is doing its job. That's not the stuff I'm concerned about. So, it is, it is possible that if we are able to gain access to a different clean out, it might allow for the camera to get past that point. It might not either. It's it's hard to say. But I'll show you here with the camera what this thing's doing. And keep in mind, I haven't located every square inch of this thing. Um, anyway, there's your door that comes into the basement area. You've got that vertical pipe that drops down, and you've got this one with the clean out on it. There's also a clean out right here in the floor. Make sure you can see this thing. Anyway, what I'm pointing at right there, right next to the doorway, is a clean out for this piece of pipe. What these lines are doing here, realistically, I think this takes place on the exterior, but it may happen under the basement floor. This pipe right here runs over to meet up with that one. They wide connect together and then shoot off down the back hillside. This spot right here would appear, anyway, I, I, not going into it, I don't know for sure, but it looks like a straighter shot from that point. Sometimes when you go through a line like, a, a spot like this that, that has a few turns in it, the way that it pinches the camera going around turns, it can sometimes articulate the camera up against one side of the pipe wall or the other. Where going into something that's got a little bit fewer turns can sometimes allow the camera to remain in the middle of the pipe. There's no guarantees that will get you past that separation. But anyway, I, I, I got my, my hand sledge and, and uh, chisel and everything that I normally use to loosen those caps up. And it's just not breaking loose. The, the square, it's, it's seized in there well enough now that the square head on top of it is starting to, starting to twist. So it, it, a lot of this is just a time constraint issue. I just don't have 45 minutes to an hour every day to bust that clean out cap out of there but that's at this point what you probably end up doing with it is just taking a chisel and just busting the old one out and replacing the, the, the top of the cap with a plastic one <clears throat> anyway that is a way that you might be able to potentially get past that separation but I don't give it a, 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 a super confident vote on that but it's possible Anyway, getting back to what we had recommended earlier, just seeing the condition this line is here, and it's going down the back hillside, we haven't even gotten to the nastiest part of where that line's traveling yet. Unless this thing hits a main very close to the, the back of this house, it's going to be traveling through the woods back there. Where we're at right now, we've already got, we already have root intrusions at the start of the concrete. Uh, there's hardly a tree in the vicinity of where the line is. So as we make our way down that hillside, um, I would not be surprised in the least to see that whatever's going on with the line uh, increases significantly as far as damage done to it by root intrusions and things like that. 
I sometimes am pleasantly surprised, but if we've already got roots at this point where there's hardly any trees around, once we start venturing off into the heavily wooded area, that's generally what you're going to see. So that's why I say in, at, at, at this juncture right now, seeing what the concrete looks like, um, most likely the remainder of it out to the main lateral, unless any parts of it have been updated, um, are going to look at least like what we've seen here, if not worse. So in my opinion, at this point, well, I, I think it makes more sense to almost just get a, get a repair company out here um, to start doing bids on that. Um, and you know they can start gaining access to this thing and doing the low case and whatnot they need to. That's my two cents on it. You've got, you've got two root intrusions um, and at least two significantly separated pipe joints in the line. So, and the concrete pipe at this point is just, it's worn out. But it, the, my main, main purpose of trying to get out here and locate where this thing is going today, it's not so much to see what the rest of the line looks like as far as condition goes. I can just about guarantee you it's at least as bad, if not worse, than what we've already seen. Seen. Mostly it's to see the, the structure of what's there, if it still has good slope and grade to it, um, and whether or not it's something you can potentially do by a trenchless epoxy liner, or if you've got to look into doing it the good old-fashioned way and digging, which I'm hoping you don't have to do that. That's it's just a pain, especially these lines that start going off into the woods like this. So.